What's up, y'all? Welcome to another video, man. As y'all can see from the title, we're going to be watching the scary video. <laughs> that shit felt bad, crazy. I got there, bro. For those that are new, make sure to hit that sub. That will help my channel out a lot. You don't have to. No pressure. You can take it back anytime you want to. So we about to just jump straight into the vid. Let's get it. The following video comes from James Fodder, who recently bought a doll from a secondhand store. Apparently, the doll is worth a lot more than what the store was selling it for. For this reason, James had bought the doll. However, ever since bringing it home, strange things have been happening. From hearing strange noises at night, to seeing doors open and close on their own, James suspects that the doll might be responsible for the unusual activity in his house. And so, he decides to record the doll in front of a camera inside an empty room. He hopes to capture footage of something that would prove it's haunted. Initially, nothing odd is captured in the first few days of recording. My thing is, why you go buy a doll? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, why you go buy a doll that's acts like, that looked like a child, bro? Not having that. But then one night, something very strange happens. Now the camera that he uses is programmed to move wherever it picks up movement. So if something moves, it will point to that object. We could see it doing that in this footage. But strangely, the camera pans around the room as though it's picking up movement from somewhere. This is what was captured. The fuck? Yo! I ain't gonna lie, that shit is controlling it, bro. What if it disappeared? Could it be that the camera is detecting an unseen presence, or is it just not functioning properly? Although it's likely that there's a problem with the camera, something really creepy happens two nights later inside the room, which has made him think that the camera was actually picking up something. James is away from home when the following happens. He writes, Just wow, I've been leaving the closets open in case anyone thinks I'm hiding inside. I don't even know what to say. This is what was captured. What the fuck was that? Out of James's bathroom comes out what appears to be a dark, shapeless figure. It seems to dart across the floor before disappearing from sight. James believes that this may have been the apparition that was being picked up earlier by the camera. He also thinks that this mysterious figure might be attached to the doll. Ever since then, he's been filming more at night. Little does he know that he would eventually capture something more terrifying than this. James is sleeping in his room upstairs when the following happens. Yo, I swear, yo. What? Bro, that's why you cannot buy dolls, bro. That's why I don't like dolls to this day, bro. It's no way. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I thought the doll was breathing already, bro. I. Oh 
my god! Yo! Get the dog! Get the dog! Out. Bro, get that doll out your house, bro. Don't film the doll, bro. Why you bought a doll? All of a sudden, the doll moves on its own. It appears to move for just a few seconds before abruptly stopping. Feeling very unsettled, James posts the footage online to see if anyone could explain this video. Yo. It's not sure if he'll continue to hold on to this doll, given what occurred. But it might be best if he keeps it locked up inside this room, as an occurrence like this definitely warrants it. As always, what are your thoughts on this? Had something paranormal occurred? Or had something else happened? Yo, that's crazy, bro. That's why I do not the like dogs. The following video shows a priest who's about to give a sermon when something really creepy happens. Although not much info is given on the video, the title of the clip says it all, which reads, a priest is about to give a speech, but immediately hears screams. The clip is pretty unsettling to say the least. This. If you're serious about making beats, YouTube Man. probably isn't the best place to learn. The videos are just all over the place and unorganized, and you have to go through hours of videos just to find help with what you- It was what was captured. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Juan. The priest was immediately caught off guard upon hearing the mysterious screams. According to those who attended the ceremony, the priest had to end the mass immediately after this. No one knows why the mass had to end so soon, but there is no denying that the screams had something to do with this. Whether paranormal or not, the sudden occurrence of this mysterious scream is unnerving on its own, but with everyone else's reaction to the cry, it makes it even more frightening. This recording was taken about four months ago, and still, no one knows where the cries had come from. As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. It was not really like. Marissa Rachel is a YouTube vlogger who owns a channel by the same name and uploads videos that she and her sister make. Marissa's videos can be described as being lighthearted with a laid back quality to them as she often appears happy and relaxed in almost every video. But one video in particular shows Marissa behaving strangely. The happy Marissa that everyone knows acts completely different in the following vlog, which was posted after a disturbing incident that took place in her home. She talks about this incident, but looks very uncomfortable while doing so. Something has made her feel uneasy, and it's clear that it's left her disturbed. <laughs> Yo, bro, this video got me bugging out. Like, I'm looking at my microphone like it's moving, dog. what happened is I left the camera rolling and left my room for a minute and something very creepy was caught on camera. I was filming one of my back to school videos and it was actually kind of weird because I was filming it at night and I don't normally film at night. Normally I film during the daytime because the lighting's better and stuff. Um, and I was also filming alone, which was really, really weird because normally Shauna's like in the room with me helping me film, but um, she wasn't home, so I was filming alone. So it was late at night. She further specifies that it was midway through the recording when she left the room to grab something that she would show in the video, but forgot. It was during this time though, when she was gone, that the creepy occurrence was caught on camera. And so, after telling us what happened, she then shows us the video in question. She plays the footage at the point where she leaves the room and shows us this. To go get them. And I turn off all the lights except for one. Um, my parents are always yelling at me if I don't turn off the lights, so I didn't want them to. And I did keep one light on just so that I would be able to find my way back in the dark. Fuck. 
so I'm actually fast forwarding the footage right now there's about two minutes just staring out the wall um, you can't really tell that it's being fast forwarded because there's nothing really going on but yeah this part was just a little boring that fucking camera moving yo It is at this point that the camera begins to move slowly, but there's actually nothing odd about this, as according to Marissa, her tripod can only support the weight of her camera for so long before tilting. As we can see, the camera is doing exactly that. But once it's done tilting, the camera sees this. Bro, it's somebody. No, 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 bro. Yo, it's the dolls. A doll's bro. hand can be seen laying about before quickly receding away from view. Bro, it's somebody under that. Upon rewatching the clip, the hand moves away immediately after being spotted by man, the camera. Somebody, man, it's somebody almost as there, though bro. it didn't want to be seen. Y'all not fooling me, bro. I'm black. Melissa hadn't noticed this until her sister watched the video and saw the plastic hand. Understandably, Marissa was left disturbed. She was left disturbed for the longest time. But based on recent uploads, it seems that she's feeling a lot better now as she's back to her usual self. To this day, neither she nor her sister could explain this creepy footage. But of course, I'll let you be the judge of whether or not the video is real. Had something paranormal occurred? Or had something else been captured? Man, somebody did that. Somebody did that, bro. Ain't no way. Yo, these ads are getting on my nerves, bro. This next video comes from Jack Steffens, who spent the night at a hotel that is considered to be the most haunted hotel in the US. The hotel in question is known as the Biltmore Hotel, which is located over in Providence, Rhode Island, and its history is lingered with paranormal activity. From seeing objects move on their own, to hearing laughter from parties that can't be found, former guests of the hotel have encountered things that they couldn't explain and just like those who've stayed here before, Jack Steffens encounters something beyond explanation. Late one evening, Jack is lying in bed inside his hotel room, when all of a sudden, the bathroom door inside the room shuts itself forcefully. A few minutes pass, and the door opens all on its own, Cat. but then closes again immediately. That's Terrified by this incident, Jack proceeds to grab his camera and records the following. This is what he captured. All right, you can see that the bathroom is down there, at the end of the hallway. Bro, somebody the right there. Is the one that has been slamming itself by apparently unseen. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I see, I see him right there, bro. I see somebody right. behind the door. I'm gonna stand here for a couple minutes. If it happens again, then I'm gonna catch it on video. If it doesn't happen again, then I'm going to set my camera down and try to just let it sit there and wait and catch it when it happens. Did you see that? I go law. This one is fake, chat. <laughs> as much as I want, I don't want to believe it, bro. It's fake, bro. Bro, I see somebody in the back of the door, bro. It just did it again. I cannot believe I got that on video. Open the door. I cannot believe I got that. Bro, just open the door, bro. There is nobody in this room. Salon. Except for me. No, turn the camera all the way. Man, what? That is the freakiest thing ever. There's nobody back here. The 
the door suddenly closes on its own, as though someone had slammed it hard. Based on this recording, we can tell that Jack was left baffled. Now if Jack hadn't recorded the inside of this bathroom, the authenticity of this video might have been called into question. It could have been that someone was hiding inside and waiting to close the door at the right time. However, as Jack shows us, no one is inside the bathroom. Given the history of this hotel, it seems that something unexplainable was caught on camera. But of course, I'll pass the judgment over to you. Man, I ain't Did gonna lie, bro. If I see something like that, nigga, I'm out. I'm out. Give me my money back. Like, give me a refund. I need all the money plus extra, bro. I got me in this, in this, in this hotel room, and I got, and I got, and I got um doors closing and shit. Like, I can't even enjoy my time. You bugging? Paranormal occur in Jack's room, or is there a possible explanation for what Jack had encountered? If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. Gotcha. That being said, let's get back to the video. Please do. Lauren Combs and her dog Luna live in a house located in the middle of nowhere. Why they got Nothing aliens? but woods Why is they even her in home, the middle of nowhere? And very few people come and visit as she lives in a secluded area far from everyone else. Although Lauren lives in complete isolation, something very strange happened not too long ago that's made her wonder if she's actually alone. One night, while walking her dog through the woods, her dog Luna begins to act strange. The following is the video she took. Luna. Dogs know some. You. Luna. Go home. Luna, go home. No, 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 no. Luna, come on. Stop. It what do you mean, stop? Luna That's a dog. Sensing... Dogs, no. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The one thing I can say about dogs, bro, like, they literally tell you everything, bro. It don't matter what it is. They gotta pee, doo doo, something. Bro, are they gonna let you know, bro? Like, give it, that's a sign, bro. Someone or something nearby. Yet, there appears to be nothing suspicious in sight. Now, like with most dogs, it could be that Luna had seen a squirrel or some small rodent, thus causing her to react this way. However, this wouldn't be the only time Luna acts strange, as on a different night, Lauren records the following behavior from Luna. What? What is wrong with you? Luna. What is wrong? What? What? Who is that? Your big head. What? What? Based on these two videos, viewers believe that Luna is sensing something which cannot be seen. Whatever it might be, viewers bro, think- I'm not gonna lie, bro. My... <laughs> bro, my microphone is moving, bro. That Luna is trying to protect her owner from this unknown presence. Ever since then, she's been acting more strange. But then one day, the strangest thing happened. As Lauren is resting at home, the following is caught on camera. What the fuck? Luna, come on. It goes without saying, but Lauren was shaken up by this incident. If no one had been at the front door, then how was the doorbell going off on its own? 
It's because of this incident that Lauren thinks her house is haunted. Although some think that this might have been caused by an electrical problem, thus causing the constant ringing, others believe that something else is going on. One incident in particular, though, has led them to believe that the house might actually be haunted. Luckily, Lauren was able to capture this odd occurrence on her security camera. Take a look. Oh, shit! Man, you bugging. Out I'm out nowhere, the house, boy. The books on the shelf fall to the ground Why you even? as though they were pushed off forcefully. Like most viewers, Lauren can't think of anything to explain this. But as always, what do you think? Could it be that Lauren is actually experiencing paranormal activity? Or is there something else going on? Feel free to share what you think down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's why I hate dolls. Why are you even living in the middle of nowhere? Man, I don't know what's going on, to be honest. That, I ain't gonna lie, the first video got me, bro. The first, the first part of the video got me, man. But look, man, that's it for today's video, man. I thank y'all boys for coming through to the, uh, the vid. Make sure I drop that like and put below in the comment section stuff y'all want me to react to. And yeah, man, I'm done with this. But remember that anything is possible. It's possible.